All right, so this one was a pretty high TPS solve. Um, what I noticed first was obviously these green edge, piece, um, edge pieces for the cross. You've got these two which are correctly positioned relative to one another, and then this one is not. So what we are going to do, and we also notice that we have this corner connected with this edge here. So what we can do is something along the lines of this. So move, do an F to move that one out of the way. D, we've got these two here, so R prime F. And then uh, we can put in this edge like so. Noticing that before we do that, we've also got this pair, which we can go straight into for the next pair. So we can go R, U prime, R prime. Then instead of doing a D, we can do a U. Why do you like that? So that enables us to not rotate before doing this pair. Do it like so. And while I was doing that, I noticed these two. So I did something along the lines of this. Like that. And then we've got this pair in the back slot like that. So what I'm going to do is take it out with R prime U R, which gives us this case. And then we have this OLL. I don't know if you can... Uh, so recognizing that this OLL um, preserves this block on the left here. And we've also got these corners matching at the back. And this edge goes to the back there. So kind of when I'm doing that, I see this edge, um, the orange one that's going to go to the back here, and this block is going to be preserved. So you can maybe tell it's going to be a T permutation if you do it slowly, but obviously I didn't do that during the solve. And then finish it off.